TNT, Forrest and Baked Beans. When you need to eat and run, Forrest and Baked Beans is the only one. Sublight puts the organized and organized crime. Really? Trying to get him to use that slogan. You reckon we can stop here, or is it all spoke for? Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. You the one flying the unreliable? Money. We got it. The Steve Doors want it. I'll take that as a yes. Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Sure am. A few years back, they got me started on simple acquisitions. You know those latches they put on cargo bays ain't worth a damn? These days, I stick to HQ and look after Miss Lilia. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. At least one system on Groundbreaker still works. It's nice to see the unreliable again. A useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings. But there's a catch. Just like in the serials. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. When the board pulled out of Monarch, they buried or sealed anything they couldn't carry off-world. Apparently, one of Catherine's teams uncovered an abandoned lab with full tanks of Alta Vitae gas. A few of my contractors run flights in there and out again, working around the board embargo. We keep the community lubricated with a steady supply of booze and unconventional erotica. Byzantium kids with more money than sense can thank Sublight for their good time. One of my guys filmed a raptodon grinding on an auto mech. Didn't end well for anyone, including the cameraman. Now get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes in the back of your head. Understood? You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. I ain't worried if you aren't, Captain. Uh, honest.
You know, Nioka, between you and me, we know all there is to know about Monarch. What makes you say that? Well, you got your life experience as a hunter, and I've memorized every episode of Terror on Monarch. Musk. Oh, Terror on Monarch's a riot. It's all made up, though. You know that, right? Yeah, right. Next, you're gonna tell me Halcy and Helen weren't based on a real person. I won't tell you that, no. You seem happier in your ignorance. Catherine's great, ain't she? She'll pull you out of the sulfur, so long as you don't mind. Speaking to my left ear, will you? Right one's damaged. Last we talked, I only caught half of what you said. Well, I'm half listening. Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. Got something that's gonna require special extraction from Cascadia. All right, all right. One of my runners uncovered a cache of Alta Vitae gas, left in a lab when the board abandoned Cascadia. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally safe. I do like your gumption, but let's not be hasty. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. The lab itself has become an infested nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight through or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? I shall leave the details to you. Now, after you clear the manti nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. Or you could force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option, though, unless you want to get dead. Dandy. Did I mention the gas is of an extremely volatile nature? Handle it with the utmost of care. Once you've got our goods, take them to the Groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. Use the passcode Antediluvian on the terminal to get in. Best of luck, Fixer.
Hello? Anybody here? Proximity alert. Biology human. Protocol kill all plants. Suspended. Present your Rizzo identification credentials or prepare to be downsized. Attempting to disengage security protocols without proper authorization is a fireable offense. Priming weapons. Executive level password accepted as identification according to employee ID protocol A-3501. Welcome back, doctor. Be advised. Mantasaur threat level is petrifying purple berry. Please use caution. Mantasaur wounds are not covered under Rizzo's health policy. Have a productive day. Watch those traps. This is not exactly pretty. Something on your mind?
Let me take a look-see. Okay, I'm thinking if I patch this into our fuel cell network, we can use the empty tanks to hold this ulta what a biddle stuff. Just gotta compensate for the pressure difference. We burn liquid reaction mass, not gas, and the cells are distributed all through the hull, so I gotta isolate the empties. Of course I did, Captain. Just gave it a little jiggle. There we are. Good as pretty and twice as new. Oh, I just... just did my thing. You know. Hey, take the compliment. You did the work. Sally, er, uh, Dr. Fenhill, I notice your pistol's been making a fight. Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. Destination reached, the groundbreaker.
That gas is going to make us a fucking mint. A hundred twenty-some cubic meters of it, at a million bits a pop. Take this, you've earned it. When we get buyers lined up, I'm gonna buy a gold toilet to shit in. You're goddamn right. Monarch isn't exactly a walk down the lanes of Byzantium. But here you are with all your limbs attached. Call me impressed, contractor. <laughs>